What's up? Welcome to another Roast Beef episode. Today we're in Hollywood, off of Sunset. We're gonna meet up with Spencer Simeon, and we're gonna eat at this spot, delicious pizza. One of his favorite spots. Yeah, there he is. Yo, what else, Spencer? Chilling, man. Yeah, you ready to go get some grub yeah, on? Hell yeah, let's get it. Awesome, let's yeah, do this. Cool, cool. Yes. All right, it's the spot right here. Spencer's spot. Yeah, How's it man. going? Alright, what do you suggest, uh, Spencer? I mean, I'm, I'm super regular, bro. I just get pepperoni and right. a Coke, you know, like, super normal. Uh, that is just two slices of pepperoni and a Coke. Uh, yeah. I like the beats in here. Yeah, hell yeah. The soundtrack is always good in here. Yeah. But they got all types of stuff, though, bro. Like, if you like vegetables, I don't like vegetables. So, okay. like, that's why I'm, like, super yeah. regular. Like, You're a carnivore. You know, I mean, I guess, unintentionally, I just don't like vegetables. Bro. All right. So, I wish I did. What do you suggest? Pizza. All right. What's your favorite pizza? That's pretty good for a vegetarian option. This one's pretty fancy. People like it a lot, though. It's no tomato sauce. Yeah? I'll try one fancy one. And, uh, one cheese. Do you have anchovies by any chance? Yeah. No way. Can you put anchovies on that cheese slice, please? Dude, it's, it, yeah, of course, okay. bro. It's like, I'm just like, I have food poisoning before and shit, bro, and it's just like, I'm just very careful about what I touch before I eat, you know? Like, I hear that you. shit is not tight, you know? <laughs> no, like, no. Not good at all. It's a horrible, like, horrible, you know? I'm not ever trying to have that happen again. So, anytime I get ready to eat, if I have to touch my food, like, I make sure that, like, like I don't touch anything but my food before I like or a napkin or something, you know? Right. Like, I feel like it gets wild. But if I'm eating with a fork or whatever, I'ma still wash my hands. But it's <laughs> like I'm not gonna stress out. Like I wouldn't stress out on shaking nobody's hand and then yeah. eating something with a fork, you know? But all right. So, so real quick, let's just a little background mm -hmm. check on you real quick. Like, yeah. Where you're from? Who your sponsors that? You know, just a little on the skating. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Ethnicity. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm from Aurora, Colorado. <clears throat> Fuck, I can't even talk. <laughs> I'm from Aurora, Colorado, originally. Um, I moved to LA like five years ago. I don't stay too far from here. We're in Hollywood right now. Um, sponsors, I always forget somebody. Uh, usually oh, this thing. Get bummed. Off top of the head. <laughs> uh, Powell Peralta, uh, 303 Board Shop in Colorado. Pharmacy Board Shop out here, which is down the street, actually. Shout out Pharmacy, shout out 303. Uh, my friend's clothing brand called Slammin' Worldwide, uh, he hooks me up, it's pretty cool. Uh, Acid Chemical Co. Wheels and Laporta Threads, it's like a shoelace belt company, he hooks me up too. I'm forgetting a few, but you know, we get the gist of them. You yeah, know. you yeah. guys can look it up on his yeah, profile yeah. page. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else did you ask? Um, where you're from, how long this game for? Skating, like, duration-wise, I don't even know. It's been a long time since I was a kid. It's, like, easily over 10 years, you know? It's got right here. It's been a while. Yeah, it's about to be good, too. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. Look at this one. I got right here anchovies. What'd you get? I just got pepperoni. Super simple. Every time, two slices of pepperoni. I, I don't even know what this one is. I forgot. She said it was fancy. Yeah, you it's know? the fancy, delicious pizza. You got the, the fancy pizza. Fancy one. White sauce, I believe it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm super regular with it. I just, I just get pepperoni or cheese, you know. 
but I gotta be in a different mood to have cheese. Or, you know, like, yeah. I can't do vegetables. No. Like, never. I can't. Well, I've been trying to. You know, I'm getting a little older, so like, I need them, but they just don't taste good to me. So like, they need it cooked in the proper way. Yeah, exactly. And my girlfriend has been doing a good job of that. Oh, like, yeah. Girlfriend cooking for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's she's a keeper. Uh, yeah, she's uh, <laughs> she's from Japan. So Ooh. yeah, the way that she cooks food is definitely different than what I was used to growing up, and I really like Japanese food. I found out like a lot. Just so Japanese food's tasty. The way she does the vegetables is uh, a lot easier for me to eat than like the way anyone else would. You know, she she got the touch. You know? yeah. she, she makes so, it happen. So if she made a pizza and she snuck some vegetables in it. I would probably eat it. You know. Like, hey. Oh, I was gonna say pizza has vegetables, but tomato. Is yeah, but it's fruit. processed though. Tomato's you know? considered a fruit, it, right? It, it, technically, yeah, but on a like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't just. Uh, yeah, I like peppers. Yeah. You know? I wouldn't just eat a tomato. You know, like if I get a cheeseburger. No, I take a tomato out. No tomatoes. You know, yeah. exactly. You're talking to my daughter right now. <laughs> I mean, daughter's like no tomatoes. I can't do it. But she'll do pizza. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you, you don't. You wouldn't even know it's tomatoes if somebody didn't tell you. You know, uh -huh. it's like All right. based on how a tomato tastes. Oh, cool. Well, hey, uh, let's take a bite of this, dude. Yeah, it's good, man. There we go. Cheers. Bon appetit. Delicious pizza right here. Here we go. Rah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the crunch. Yeah, it's good. It's consistent every time. Every time? Like, I'm telling you, I've been here like two or three times a week. Dang. Two or three times a week. Mm -hmm. So, how'd you even find out about this place? Well, Delicious. I was up the street at a pharmacy, skate shop, mm -hmm. and uh, I have been eating this little teriyaki spot down the street a lot, like the last like two years. I was eating it like every single day, like for real, like every day, like I was eating it like every day. Burnt on that one. Yeah, <laughs> I was kind of off it, you know, it's still good, like it tastes good, whatever, but I was off it. I was at pharmacy, I was like, yo, like, I'm not really trying to eat teriyaki today. Like, what else is there to eat over here? And they were like, oh, like check out delicious pizza down the street. I was like, all right. So I skated over here, got two slices of cheese pizza, took it back, ate it. And it was really, it was like, it was good. Like, it was good. I was like, I'm about to go tomorrow. And I went the next day, and the next day. And then, <laughs> I mean, it's in a row. I've eaten it four days in a row, Dang. I believe. You know? Um, it's good, bro. Like, it is good. Like, I love good. it. It's got that tall New York style. I love it. It's good. So, that's how I found out about it. Nice. Have you tried anchovies before? I have never. I just seen like in cartoons back in the day, like people didn't used to like them. Like when I was growing up, like somebody ordered pizza or whatever, and then they would like punish the kids in the cartoon by putting anchovies on it. But I'm sure it's good, you know. Like I just never tried it. That's just what I remember specifically, like growing up, like like I forgot. Exactly, at a very young age, and to, and to not ever trying it, you know? But at this stage in my life, I would try some anchovies, you know? Want to try one today? Potentially, yeah. But after I'm finished with this, though. Okay. You know? I can order one. Okay, yeah, I'm down to give it a shot. I like fish, so. All right. Mm -hmm. I just remember growing up, like, I would always seeing cartoons, like. They're hating on it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> it, it was like, it was not the. They weren't highlighting the anchovies were good. In fact, it was right. the obvious. It's a total it, Euro. Was, it was the opposite. I mean, the total Euro thing. Mm -hmm. It's like a staple in Europe to have like anchovies on pizza. Oh, really? Yeah. I heard that they do the sauce different Probably. in different countries too. Like, mm -hmm. like a, it's not traditional red sauce in a lot of different countries. You know, mm. that's what I heard. But I've never been to Europe. The well, only other place outside the United States I've been is China. And I didn't have any pizza out there, so <laughs> I wouldn't know. Well, this one doesn't have a red sauce. So it's a white sauce. Mm -hmm. Fancy white that? sauce pizza. Looks like Alfredo that they use or something? I don't know. Good question. I'll have to ask her. Mm -hmm. Either way, I'm already knowing it's good because this place is good. Yeah, it is. And I think they have like two locations. Mm -hmm. I've never been to the other one. I have. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're just saying that. When I went in there, I saw the decor. It said delicious pizza. I saw that logo. Mm -hmm. I was like, dude, that's the logo when our side used to be on or is still on. I don't even know. Mm -hmm. Tone Oak. Yeah, yeah, uh, they got 
I got all the old school rappers in here or whatever. Dude, so many, so many hip hop artists and other musicians have been on Delicious label. Mm -hmm. And we got the beats pumping in. Yeah, for real. I was like, music is always going in here. Yeah, I, I feel the vibe. It makes, I think it makes the pizza taste even more better. <laughs> yeah, for real. Mm -hmm. A lot of this stuff that they play in here is before my generation, but I found out about it because of skating, you know? Like, they would use uh, old school tracks like this in skate videos that I grew up on, you know? That's how I found out about Gangstar or uh, Hieroglyphics or like all sorts of like yeah. stuff that I listen to currently, you know? But because right. I didn't hear none of this on the radio, you know? Oh. Uh, before my time. It's like always the goodies now. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. That's rad that you, that, you, that you learned that. And an oldie now is like a 2005 Diddy song, you know? Oh, like currently, man. which is crazy because that's oh. what that's what I grew up hearing on the radio, you know? Man, dating ourselves right now. I'm trying to feel old. <laughs> <laughs> you getting older is cool, man. It's all good. Mm -hmm. It's all good. Let's go with the flow. Mm -hmm. You need to learn a lot. Right? Mm -hmm. You went to China. Mm -hmm. What was the food like over there? So good, bro. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. What kind of so, stuff did you like there? What kind of stuff did you not like there? Mm -hmm. Do you eat dog? Cats? Dog? Cats? No, no, no. But we did go to... Uh, <laughs> A little market or whatever that that stuff was available. That's, no that's kind of scary. Yeah. You had dogs and cats available. Were they, I, were they hanging on? Bro, books? I didn't see a cat, but um, I don't want to say it was a dog, but I saw what appeared to be a dog strung up at this little uh, this market thing that we went to or whatever. It might not have been them, you know. Like I don't want to like. This looked close to it. <laughs> yeah, like I, I didn't get that close, but I was like, my friend was like, is that what I think it is? I was like, I don't know, bro. Like, like keep pushing, you know? It was like, it was raining and stuff anyways. It was time to go, you know? Mm -hmm. But um, I didn't really have anything out there that I didn't like, honestly. Like, uh, we stayed at a hostel that was pretty, like, uh, catered towards, like, the West, I guess you could say. So like, the stuff that they had there, they had a lot of traditional American food or whatever, but they also, outside of the hostel, they had like street barbecue, which Yum. Um, I was super skeptical to eat at oh. first because I'm like, I'm such a germaphobe with food or whatever, oh. but I figured- you know, Street food too, like that? Yeah, I was like, I was like, I don't know, bro. Like, I don't want to get sick or anything like that. But I see my friends eating it, talking about how good it was or whatever. I was like, let me, Tried the little fried noodle bowl or whatever, mm -hmm. and uh, I tried like a a mushroom that he had. Like it was like a street barbecued mushroom that my friend had. He was a vegetarian, like not eat meat. He was like, you have to try this. I was like, nah, man, I can't eat that. He's like, you have to try it. I tried it, and it was so good. Like mm -hmm. that's like that's the exception to my vegetable rule, I guess you could say. It's when I was out there, like I had street barbecue vegetables and I enjoyed them, uh, you know? And could they probably put some nice sauce or something They, they have like this chili, like crazy chili seasoning that they put on it. It's like, I've never had it out here before, you oh, know? So, wow. It was good. That's right. I didn't really have anything I didn't like out there, honestly. Like, I ate a lot of rice dishes, a lot of noodles. Um, the convenience stores out there, as opposed to like a hot dog or whatever, they'll have noodles, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's like... Ramen? Not ramen, it's oh. like, they're like, I don't know what you would call these type of noodles. They're like different than anything I ever had in the United States. Um, mm. But it's really good. Like, it, like I was treating it like it was like, not fast food, but that was their fast food and it was so good to me. Like, I thought it was like, it was incredible. I would go back like three or four times a night. And, like, Dang. like for real. Like I'll walk across the street from the hostel, yeah. go get more noodles, and get more noodles <laughs> or whatever. Because you know, like you don't stay full for very long on noodles. You know? Isn't that what they always say about Chinese food? It's just good. <laughs> I mean, after thirty minutes, you're hungry again. Uh, I don't. I mean, it depends on what, it depends on what you eat. You know, and they got I, that joke too. Because <laughs> I got I got really full out there uh -huh. like a lot of the time. But with the noodles or whatever, like I was going back. You know. Like, <laughs> I never heard that joke about Chinese food. About, oh, yeah, I never heard that before. <laughs> never heard that. But they tie that joke in with sex too, with a Chinese person. Or really? Chinese, yeah. 
Yeah, no, I, no, I never heard about any of that. Before I was seeing my girlfriend now, who's Japanese, I was seeing a Chinese girl, and no, she didn't put me up on no type of stereotypes. I didn't know nothing about that. I yellow fever. Not even, you know. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't have a preference. Okay. This is just how it happened. Okay. You know. You're streak right now. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know, but I wasn't fighting it. Mm -hmm. You know? Did you grow up with both your parents in Colorado? Mm. My mom and my stepdad. Mm -hmm. And my grandparents, really. I didn't know my real dad too well. He skated, though. No um, way. Mm -hmm. Maybe I know your dad. Yeah, he, <laughs> he used to rip, apparently. He had like a... He had a ramp in our backyard when before I was born. This pizza is so good. Mm -hmm. This is the one with, I think, white sauce. It's the roast sauce. Basil, shallots, garlic, mozzarella, and what else is there? Arugula. Yep, and ricotta cheese. Have you tried one of these yet? I have not. Oh wait, you don't like vegetables, that's why. No, nope. <laughs> I sure don't. But if, not it, gonna eat the if, it have, if it didn't have the arugula on it, I would try it. You know? Oh, you don't like the green stuff? I guess arugula is not as bad as like... I mean... I could do arugula over like a Brussels sprout or like broccoli or other greens, you know? Arugula doesn't really have like a bunch of flavor. It's got a little pepper cake. Yeah, but it's not like... Overbearing, you know, like steaks, like like steaks. So what? Like steaks, like a steak, like a like ribeye steak, New York steak. I don't really eat like. Honestly, I can't really say that I've ever eaten steak if it wasn't like thinly sliced steak on a sandwich. I've never had like a try steak sandwich next time. With a little bit of rugged. just a little bit. Okay, so a little bit of freshness. I'm gonna see what's up. There. A little bit of pepperiness. Okay, because I've been like I said. I'm working on eating them. It's just difficult for me, you know. Like, but if they're cooked right, hey, yeah, you're trying. It's cooked right, you know. Yeah, I'm working on it, bro. I'm trying to last. I'm trying to skate, you know. Like, I need balance. I need to eat vegetables. Yeah. It's hard for me. That's random. Yeah. I never heard Thank that you. one before, dude. Four videos at once you're working on. I'm trying, man. Oh, wow. Do you hear that? Four video parts at once. Nuts. Hey, thank you. Oh. Good luck on that one. You got it though. I, I watched I watch the gram and you stack and clip like every every day you got something. It's just too fun, bro. Like every day, like a lot of people like make excuses as to why they're not skating as much as they like want to, but like if you really want to skate you'll make time for it. Like I work every day, like full time, you know? And then when I get off work I go to Westchester, which is not close to here at all. You know? like, got to go skate next. So, I'm excited. Can I go to Westchester next? What's it called? Westchester Skate Plaza. Westchester Skate Plaza. That's where we're headed to. It's gonna be fun, it always is. So, mm -hmm. I never see that part. It's so fun. I've seen it on the ground. It's I wanna, so fun. I'm gonna cruise around a little bit. The bros are gonna be up there. It's gonna be good vibes. I love that part. Nice. It's a little chilly tonight, too, huh? Yeah, it's gonna be a little colder over there too. Honestly. Get warmed up, take a little time to get warmed up. Mm -hmm. The one from where it gets like actually cold, cold. So warming up isn't the problem. It's oh, like. Oh, so you're just. You know, I'm from Colorado. Colorado, you know, but like the problem out here is like when it is a little cold and you start sweating, like, and you chill for a second, that's when you like really start to get cold. That's not really a thing where I'm from. Like, it's just cold. And dry air, you know, out here, like there's humidity in the air or whatever, but it's a little chilly. So you start sweating, and as soon as you stop skating, it's like it's, you're freezing, you know, like you're over it. You got to bundle up so you don't get sick. Mm -hmm. But warming up isn't really a problem, you know, like not too bad. I mean, I got a bad knee, so it's like that affects it, but I'm, I wouldn't say the cold out here is really like. I haven't really slow the warm-up process down. Alright. Cool. Um, got a shout-out? Oh, yeah. Where do I start? Uh, shout-out 303 Boards. Shout-out Pharmacy Hollywood. 
Shout out Michael Bell, shout out Brand Hyden, shout out Holyfield, shout out Skate Juice, shout out Kyle Peralta, DeVille, the whole Kyle team. Um, pretty much if you've done anything to help me ever or just been nice to me, shout out to you, you know? Like, that's the way that I feel. Nice. Shout out to my girlfriend, really though, Kyoko. She, ah. has, me, she has me on a good one, you know. Hook you up with those veggies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, shout out to her and my mom too, you know. Brothers, sisters. Shout out to everybody. And this spot. Yeah, shout out to Delicious Pizza, of course. Yeah, right. thanks for having me. Shout out us. to Delicious Pizza. Mm -hmm. Bam, awesome pizza. And what? Not an awesome, delicious pizza. We're on camera now, but I'm gonna be in here. Probably tomorrow, next day, <laughs> next week. Uh, so yeah, you just won't see that, but I'll be in here. You know? There you go. It's a regular thing. So when you're in Hollywood off Sunset, come check out Delicious Pizza. They got dope beats in here, dope hip hop. I believe the owners got this record label called Delicious 2. They have the Far Side, they had Tone Low, and they had all kinds of OG hip hop heads on their label. But awesome ambiance here, awesome pizza, East Coast style. I like it. It is good. Thanks, Spencer. Hey, thank you. Thank you for bringing me back here. Of course. There you go. Get some. Yep. Come check it out. Beef. Thank you, Spencer, for sharing that delicious pizza spot. Of course, bro. Of course. That, was, that was fun skating. Yeah, hell yeah. Tore it it tight. Up. Hey, it thank sick. you. Man, it was a struggle. But <laughs> we did it. We did it. <laughs> All right. Hey. There you have it. So when you're in Ohio, go get some delicious pizza. Get some. Shoo. Gross beef. <laughs>